Hey everybody, welcome back to Land Sharks Garage. Tonight you're with me and Jake. And Dexter's floating around here someplace. This is Land Sharks hiding. We're gonna put a window regulator in a 2002 Chevy Tahoe. Something I've never done. So we're gonna tackle it together. I talked to guys that do this all the time. They said you need a seven millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, a light, some duct tape, and the window regulator. Here we go. The first thing they tell you to do is to tape this window up because when you pull it out of there, it might fall down. So we got some handy dandy Gorilla tape. I'm gonna tape that in a couple spots. I only do it in a couple spots because a lot of times you see cars in the parking lot with these two pieces of duct tape because their window regulator shot. And uh, I guess this is how they keep their window up. Mine died in the up position for some reason. That's uncommon, so hopefully it is the regulator itself. So that should hold the window up when we start pulling things apart on it. A little bit of the corn. Make sure it works. Oh, I have pry tools too because a lot of this stuff is just just sitting in here, I guess. This wasn't attached when we bought it, so I don't know if something got broke off on it, but I'm not gonna get real worked up about it. I know it has to be unplugged. So I wonder if there's a different way to unplug that. Because it goes to the other side, so I doubt it. We'll just unplug it here. So I think... I didn't disconnect the battery. I bet you're supposed to do that. I'm not going to do that. Let's take a chance. I got all kinds of fuses. Sweet. I wonder if them are. Let's say the gray one's the back one. Seven millimeter and a ten, they say. I can see one there. Is that a seven? Don't tighten it. There's one. There we go. Mm -hmm. There's one. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Door panels used to always have these clips. But the guy was telling me just that's it. That's the only thing that holds it on. Just the door handle and unplug it. Fine by me. So let's just oh, got it. We got the premium heated seat package. So, yeah. Hmm. Gotta be 
smarter than the electrical thing, I guess. You see how that one goes in? Oh, he's got a bulb attached to it. Well, this stuff's just held on by like some black bolts. Oh yeah, take that off. That's where the 10 millimeter comes in. I was paying attention when he talked to me. Jake shenanigans going on here. Yeah, always. What do you find? Uh, oh, the little, the little great, little bracket the little whatever. silver thing that was in there. Yep. He's a pretty smart dog. Can't find a bird. So this just, this just clips over this little bar rod, I guess. Allegedly. And you take the that rod out and that's all that holds that in too. Everything's like slip slidey stuff. Huh? Look at that. Okay. Take this off. We're not supposed to stick back on. Yes. Vapor barrier. That's what they call it. Just like on a house, I guess. I think I'll take that speaker off. Yeah, look at those restick. <laughs> so let's hook the switch back up. And that can go on that. And if we unplug this. light because you gotta unhook this anyway oh, weather pack fitting living up to its name So, down. Up. No, I got power there. So this should correct it. Correct? Is that your synopsis? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Lynn Shark? Yes. Oh, oh no, not what? Locked out, no oh again. All right, so there's a 10 millimeter bolt here and a 10 millimeter bolt here. And what they do is clamp against the bottom of the glass. And that's the only thing that really holds it in. So we're gonna take these loose and then we'll take out um, these three and these three. And this is all gonna turn and come out this hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. So this is the reason for the tape I did.
There's a little hook there, see that? Right there. Oh, yep. A little hook that it hooks to. Same way over here. There's one right here. So we should build a back end of that. And then this should collapse. Oh my god. I've been waiting a month for this. <laughs> so there's the old one. Um, it looks like the clamp fell off in here. Yep. The clamp is right there. That's all part of the part of that somehow. Don't really care. Got a new one. Okay. Doesn't look like I have any holes going through the bottom. So hey, what are you stealing? What are you eating? What you eating, you cretin? Throw that on the floor. <laughs> so, that's a crispy leaf. So, go like this. It comes with new, new bolts. What the hell? That's different. So, what do you see? So these are, see how they're at different heights? Yeah. So this is upside down. What he told me was make sure and loosen these up a little bit because um, when you get it all put in there and tightened down, you just run it up and it grabs hold and you just tighten it down. So we'll see how that works. I wonder why these are studs down here. Must be Dorman's better idea. Oh no. I know what fell apart now. My guess is, now that I'm looking at this, they come pre-loosened for you already. So I probably shouldn't have done that. Follow me? Mm -hmm. Jake, what are you doing? Story of my life. Jake, what are you doing? Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that apart. Bad time. Can't do that again. Because this one did the same thing. In case you do do the same thing I do and do do. <laughs> he said do do. If you do the same thing I did, this can go either way. So this is the way it comes from the from the factory is like back to back instead of front to back, which seems to make more sense. But that isn't always the case when you're playing Jenga. GM Jenga. So that little hooker thing is still there. Yep. Sweet. Man. What do we do with all our spare time? This is the one that had the little stud on it. What are you doing, buddy? What you got? Whatever. What do you have? What do you got? What you eating? What do you want? Hey, that looks like it's got something attached to oh, what it. What is that, Jake? It's like a wood drill bit. Where did you get that at? An old carpenter from back in the day. If he's gone for more than two seconds, you know, he's in trouble. Yeah, Dexter's is laying over there. Mm -hmm. But he's over there chewing on a vacuum cap, so. <laughs> Gods are watching over us. <laughs> and you plug everything in, right? They only go in one way, but it looks like. So now, you know, just tighten them two screws up. So we'll make sure this isn't tidy and not loosey.
break a damn window. I with say that. don't. Yeah, if you're over tightening, they're probably just gonna crack. You and you're over tightening. What the hell? See how I rest it. You can do it, old man. How'd I ever live without Gorilla Tape? Duct tape just doesn't cut it anymore. It's gotta be the gold. Okay, we're gonna run this down and up before we play the game. the window stuck in there so it won't pull it down? That's possible. It's it for a while. Hey, let me run the button. Put the Hackenheimer. So if you go the other way, what does it do? So try and push it back up. We're getting through to that. Should move that. This is this is providing 12 volts mm -hmm. to that. I mean, it's already here, so. See, now it's stuck. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is the switch. Did it move? It's the switch. It's the weakest looking light I've ever seen. No doubt. Jake. So from here, it's in this plug in.
There's nothing there. See that? Well, here we are. Put the new window regulator in and it would roll up, but it wouldn't roll down when the switch was activated. Did some testing, found out that the power wasn't getting through the connector. So I went ahead and replaced or that window voltage. regulator with a, a warranty one and I, I'm having the same issue. So after doing a little research, I need to replace this this switch here to uh, to rectify that. It, it's doing exactly the same thing. Uh, I've had it out on the bench and tested it, and it something's not making the right connection in the in the switch itself. So we're gonna put this all back together, get ourselves a switch, and hopefully that'll correct the problem that we that we have here. I did I did put the window regulator in because the <clears throat> the back of this plug-in you can't see into there but the the wire is not attached in there if I bypass that then I'd get power through it so there was something wrong with this connector anyway the new one doesn't have that so I'm gonna swap it out and put the warranty one in get a switch ordered see where we're at there window moves up and down freely by itself so the only other the only part that could be causing the issue is is in the switch in, in my mind so that is where we will end it for now and see what happens when we get the new switch i'll be able to pop that out of the door because this just slides into the door handle, so that's all we'll do it. here we are window regulator motor installed kind of turned into a lengthy process the first one our original one was burnt out second one when we put it in got no electricity to the motor turns out the wires when they were crimped in the factory they just crimped over the plastic they didn't take the plastic off of the off of the wire so it wasn't getting contact at all put the second replacement warranty one in um, that one went rolled down. Turns out it was just this that the switch was bad also So everything reverses inside the switch here. So we went ahead and replaced the switch and popped it back in there and Everything's working the way it's supposed to now Thanks for following liking our channel We really appreciate it. We'll see you next time Never forget drive your ship